And now uh, we're going to see another of the really informed guys on the championship tour, Michel Berez at Karamas. What did you make of his surfing? Yeah, he was he was surfing amazing at Karamas. I think that wave is, is one that fits his surfing really well. And also here, he has he has really powerful backhand, and this this is this wave has some space to move, so it's a good wave for him for sure. That one during the break, a 3.83. So Michelle taking the early lead here, and Strider Connor O'Leary, rough year for him so far. I feel like I'm starting to get more used to it, to the game, and and how to to act my 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 heat strategies and stuff, and so I I feel confident. I. I'm not thinking about my bad results. I'm just thinking about the next steps. Thinking about your good ones. Yeah. And Connor O'Leary is <laughs> probably starting to focus on that too. So a good start for Connor. Take us through this one. Yeah, he found himself a really nice wave. It looks like the second wave of the set, which could be a key moment because you see how cupped out that wave is and how glassy the face was. It gave him an opportunity to really get up underneath it. And on the forehand, it's something that happens quite a bit. That's just the level is so high these days from the whole you know, the whole thing all the way through the draw. We'll get into that in a moment, but right now we've got Connor taking off on his second ride, and he loses it off the bottom. Michelle Berez says, okay, big opportunity for me. I can seize the lead. Had just a 3.8 through in his first way, but this one isn't going to eventuate into much down the line. So he pulls out, and Connor will get back to that position of priority. Still yeah. going for big moves, and I guess that's the big positive sign. Also saying, though, that, you know, that his mates with all, all these uh, fellow Brazilians on the championship tour off camera, Iago saying something completely different. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> but let's get into these replays. Uh, Michelle Perez during that interview yeah, yeah. Uh, had this one. Dana looking for a big result here and, and the Jeep leaders jersey, Michelle Perez. He's got the same thing in mind. Love that bottom turn straight into something solid off the top. This wave is tapering off, sadly. So Michelle just chipping away at it, hoping it's going to reel off through the inside. It does. And he gets up on the roof, plants a little fluff. Gonna put up his best number of the heat, but this turn right there, that vertical lip slam, it says so quick. Those surfboards looking so good under his feet, huh? Yeah, uh, I've been watching Michelle surf since since I started. But there'll be some points on that first maneuver. Connor O'Leary, a man who has finaled, had a left-hand reef break in the past over there in Fiji just last season. Maybe this is the wave that he needs to turn his year around. Very well be. I mean, he's obviously proven the point. Let's see what he get, got done on this wave out the back as we caught up a little late. A quick snap in the lip, comes around the corner, a nice carve into the bowl. Not exactly, I think, freed up. And Michelle Berez is out there against Connor O'Leary. Connor with the highest single score of this heat so far. And Berez trying to get himself back in it. Nice big float to kick this right off. And looking for something big down the line. Gets up on the roof once again. A couple of big floaters. A little repetitive. He was chasing a, a decent score, a 6.29 to get into the lead. I feel like the, the, the floater is more of a, a transition maneuver, right? To get yourself to another part of the wave. It's so hard to do, though. Man. High risk coming off the roof and, and into the bottom of that wave. It's sometimes you can do it at just the wrong time and really come over the handlebars or you know roll an ankle or break a board. Yet your scores never really reflect how hard it, it is to do. Right? You want to do that in the heat. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's a it's definitely a transition move. When when you're doing it, it's really hard. But I, I guess when you're looking at it, you need you need something after the floater to make it look good. Not only the floater. Good one to throw in with the combination. Well, I do feel like Michelle Berez has that whip into the lip, uh, and, and he can attack that lip line. It's trying to find those open things, and he'll be coming away with big scores. Connor got himself a little way behind him and got some tube time, but it was a little dirty. So he, he's watching everything. He's watching every wave break. Here we go, Connor O'Leary. His previous wave isn't going to go into his top two, so he wants to make this one count. Nice section there. Goes all out, but can't complete. He goes down. Great commitment to the section. Just lost his footing, couldn't regain control. That was unfortunate right there for Connor O'Leary because we've heard the talk about from Gabriel Medina. It's hard to turn out there. Uh, and this first turn, you can see him 
chipping into it, a little bump, but this turn right here sets the fins free, regains composure, and then comes down a little too compressed and looks like it pushed the fins out below him, and then it board redirected underneath him and he fell over the front of it. Well, the door for the top of the ratings is being widened. It's opening up and there's a couple of surfers that are watching this unfold and they're rubbing their hands together. Gabriel Medina already threw it around four. Time ticking by. Michelle Perez, after an amazing performance over at the Corona Bali Protected, is going to be bundled out of the mix here in round three by Connor O'Leary, a man who has been fighting hard to get a breakthrough result this season. He's into round four.